The Bender Protocol was launched this week. It is very exciting, a new bridge between Ethereum and Tezos. And I'm just going to give a really quick walkthrough of wrapping some tokens on the Tezo on the Ethereum side, moving them over to Tezos. So let's just see how that works. Uh, head over to BenderLabs.io. This is a super cool website. Really love the design here. But let's click on wrap, wrap now. And we get to this nifty little app that you need to connect your Tezos Temple Wallet or any uh, browser-based Tez Tezos Wallet. Connect that one. And then similarly, you have to have an Ethereum wallet connected, such as MetaMask. So have that connected too. So I'm going to uh, wrap some Matic token, which has now actually been renamed to Polygon. Um, it's a very popular um, token lately. It's a layer two or uh, sidechain solution on Ethereum. Um, kind of the price of it has gone crazy in the last week or so, gone up well over 100%. So um, I have quite a bit of those. I'm going to wrap a thousand Matic tokens, which gives me 998.5 wrapped Matic. Um, so that a 1.5 W Matic is taken as a fee. So on the Ethereum side, we have to allow this. Um, so it's actually two steps. So I'm going to confirm this. I have a fee of 1062. Maybe I can even, oh, interesting. Even if I lower the, their slow fees are still even more than that. So anyway, I'm confirming this. Um, so you can see there are two parts to this. So whenever you're interacting with some kind of app that needs to then control your coins on Ethereum, you first have to call the contract that is kind of the owner of those um, or manages those tokens. Specifically in this case, it's a call to the Matic um, contract. So if I were to actually look at my address, uh, if I go to view on Etherscan. So right here, it's a pending transaction. It should take about a minute, which is the block time. Um, I'm sorry, it should take really like 15 seconds. So, which is the block time in Ethereum, but it is going a bit slower. It's not gonna be included right away. But you can see it's a call to the Matic token contract. Uh, that should go any moment now. Uh, but the second step, uh, it would be a call to a contract on the Ethereum blockchain again, but this one would be one that is controlled by the wrap protocol. So a Bender Labs smart contract, which will then um, do some stuff with our tokens, um, but we had given them permission to do something with them in this allow function. Now the allowed um, operation went through. So now we can hit the wrap one, which is now another uh, transaction on Ethereum. This one will cost us $18, hitting confirm on that one. Um, and as I mentioned before, that one is actually a call to the wrap contract, which will then move those tokens to itself and then do some other stuff, which will ultimately uh, trigger an event which will then issue a comparable number of uh, Matic tokens on the Tezos side. Um, so it says over here, this is my uh, um, address where I'll get those wrap tokens and there is uh, like a 1.15% one, uh, fee that is going to the protocol. Not quite, qu quite clear. Um, how they collect those fees or how they distribute them. Um, but that's definitely something to look into. So it's still waiting for that to be included. If I go back to my Ethereum address, I can see that, um, so that con that approve went, went through as the one we saw before, but there should be a new one popping up. Okay, so here it is. This one is also still pending. And this was a transaction that went to um, this contract right here. If I click on that, we can see that this is indeed the, um, if I go to the contract code, 
I can see that this is the wrap um, protocol locking contract. So which is really essentially just a multi-sig contract, uh, which they based on the Gnosis safe contract work. So when it gets locked up in here, um, it's going to trigger some event. Let's see if we can find, you know, that will trigger like some of these events, ERC20 wrap, wrap asked, which will then in turn um, cause, uh, allow the Bender Labs wrap protocol to create these tokens, uh, comparable ones on the Tezos blockchain. So let's head on back over here. So it was included on the Ethereum side. In fact, if we go back, this one should have confirmed at this point as it did. Um, however, they don't issue those tokens immediately and it shows over here that it's waiting actually for seven, uh, 275 confirmations on Ethereum. That's about an hour. Um, kind of seems like they're being very conservative over here or they're being very extra safe. Uh, and when I say extra safe, that is they're trying to avoid any possible um, situation where there is some reorg on the Ethereum blockchain where there are some confirmations or some blocks that get dropped. Um, I did hear that this is something they're doing to kind of play it safe, at least at the beginning, but very possibly or likely that that time will, will drop down uh, because this will take about an hour. Um, however, that is very similar to what the REN protocol does when you wrap Bitcoin uh, and move that onto Ethereum. So we'd wait for six Bitcoin confirmations, which is typical in the Bitcoin world that you would wait an hour for something to be definitely um, confirmed. Um, so we'll check back in here when this is done and see what we get on our um, in our Tezos wallet. All right, so we're back um, actually here now the following morning. I didn't get a chance to complete this yesterday, but coming back to the screen, we can see um, now we have the ability to mint our tokens. So I'm going to click on that. And the Temple Wallet pops up and we have over here about a 20, 20 cent fee to actually mint our token. So this is actually now calling the contract, the wrap protocol contract on the Tezos blockchain to issue us those tokens. Um, I guess technically they could have issued them without us doing this operation, but for a number of reasons, uh, this is the safer and better way to, ha to design it. Uh, and we're actually paying the, the, um, the gas fees on it. So if I even open up Temple Wallet and I go to activity, I have this pending transaction, which should, should take about a minute or two. Um, that's the, the time of one minute is the Tezos block time. And now we could see that the transaction has applied. It's gone through. Um, and as you can see, this is a transaction from our Tezos address to the wrap quorum contract, which in turn on the left, you can see it calls some other wrap contracts as well. And in this RPC view, you can actually dive into all the data that gets sent and it will actually have that the number of that 983 tokens that are minted. And looking back here too, you can see it says now it's applied. And if I open my Temple wallet, I will see that I have um, a balance. This is actually a much higher balance than we just minted because I've done this um, before. So um, this is really cool and I am looking forward to actually now moving these tokens onto Kipu Swap and then we can be a participant on the Kipu Swap exchange so people that want to now buy wrapped Matic tokens can do so. Uh, my name is Solomon and I'll see you again for the next video.